Let's try to demonstrate the same notion of the bass line, in this case first with chords over the blues. So you guys probably understand already that a blues as played by a jazz musician has additional harmonic information. Uh, the basic blues, of course, works beautifully with a simple blues scale and three chords. But what blues musicians, what jazz, well, sorry, what I should say is what jazz musicians started to do when they began to play the blues as early as probably the 1930s is add some additional harmonic information. If you're looking at how Charlie Parker played the blues in the late 30s, early 40s, there's a lot of additional harmonic information, basically chromatic or diatonic with cycles. So a blues for Alice has a long cycle from the one to the four chord, four minor, three, six, and so forth. Um, the beauty of the blues is at any given point in your solo, you can move back to the basic blues scale and much simpler harmony. So we're not necessarily uh, confined to one particular harmonic frame of reference as we play the blues as jazz musicians. So I'll try to demonstrate a little bit of all of that. So here's a basic 12-bar blues in F using dominant chords. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> So that was kind of Charlie Parker-esque in the sense that I was going to the four chord, sharp four diminished, and so forth. If you don't know these kinds of uh, variations on a blues progression, look at a few of the Charlie Parker melodies like Blues for Alice, Au Prevail, Billy's Bounce. The alternate harmony is written in above the melody, and we can then draw on that harmony in our solo. So what I was doing there was sort of a jazz musician's approach to the blues. I'll do the same thing now with the bass line, again, outlining more of a jazz-oriented approach to the blues. Same key of F. One, two, three, four. So that harmony I just played for you has been around probably since the late 1930s. And if you understand and can memorize a, a progression like that over a 12-bar blues, we can then reference that harmony in our solo. But in any given moment, I can also go back to the basic. I can go back to that at any point in that 12-bar format to make it sound bluesier. If you want to play something bluesy, play one flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven. This sound. Everybody knows that. That's the blues scale. So anywhere in that more complicated progression, I can reference the blues scale. The trick when you're trying to balance the more complex jazz approach to the blues with the bluesier blues is to keep that form internalized so that you can transition back and forth smoothly between the more complex vocabulary of a jazz blues and a blues blues.